What's going on guys, Wagby here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a controller hand cam overlay in your streaming software for your recordings or your streams. Today I'm going to be using Streamlabs OBS, but I know this works in regular OBS, and I'm sure it works in most streaming softwares. Now, let's get right in to the tutorial. First, you have to open up a browser and go to gamepadviewer.com. The link will also be in the description. Once you're here, you want to make sure that whatever type of controller you're using is plugged in. Once your controller is connected, then just press any button on your controller and then it will recognize it. And then this will pop up at the top. To make your controller show up, you have to click where it says currently viewing and select player one. Now you should see a controller here and when you press buttons, it'll show up on the controller on your screen. But don't worry though, if you're not using an Xbox controller, you can change it to whatever type of controller you're using. They even have a white version of the PS4 and Xbox controllers which normally shows up better on streams or recordings, so I would recommend that. Once you have your preferred controller selected, then just press the three lines in the top left and press Generate URL. Once you're at this page, then you wanna just change the skin to the controller that you had selected on the previous page. So I have Xbox One White. Then you wanna click on the link at the top to copy it. Once you have your link copied, then you wanna open your streaming software. I'm using Streamlabs OBS, but it'll work exactly the same in regular OBS and probably most other streaming softwares. Once you're on your correct scene, you want to add a new source and select Browser Source. You can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to name it Controller, and then click Add Source. Then you want to change the URL at the top to the link that you had just copied. And all you have to do is press done. It'll say disconnected, but once you press a button on the controller, it should start working. Now you can maneuver and crop your controller to wherever you want on the screen. Now once your controller is set up, you can then close the browser and never have to open it again. And the controller should just work forever. And if you get any problems with your controller staying frozen or something, try quitting your streaming software and opening it again. That should fix most of its problems. But if it still doesn't work, then just try going back to the website and getting a new link. So if you guys found this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really does help me out since only 4% of my viewers are actually subscribed. And if you're absolutely insane, maybe even use my code in the Fortnite item shop. Hashtag ad. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.